Okay, this is the original Neo Geo AES system running Shin Samurai Spirits. Samurai Showdown to the rest of us, really. Japanese version of it. And I'm also running it right now in the exact, I mean, it couldn't be more perfect, the exact same slice and everything on the Neo Geo X Gold. In this video, as you see it, you'll notice it's kind of hard because of the scans, I mean, you know, the CRT, how it has that like black spot sometimes. I'm trying to get rid of them as much as I can, but uh, if you see it like this, you can see nice stable scan lines separating the pixels. Um, the sound is nice and loud. The video is nice and clear. Okay, and on uh, my other video setting, let me plug these in. The reason why I had these unplugged is because this TV kind of sucks. Because uh, when I have two things plugged in, you see that interference now, they're kind of going up the screen. Anyways, that has nothing to do with uh, the video quality or anything, it's just the stupid TV. It's a cheap Apex TV, but it gets the job done at CRT. Anyways, I'm going to switch directly to the Neo Geo X Gold, and I didn't touch the volume, and I didn't mess with the video settings, but it is darker, and if you notice when I get in close, the scan lines aren't really as pronounced and when you see it in real life the the camera right now is kinda misleading but when you see it in real life the resolution isn't in the native resolution of the uh, the Neo Geo it's actually a lot higher resolution and you can see like the interlace going on it um, I don't know if I'll ever I can really get that this to pick it up at well I think when uh, Right now, this dark part of the scan on the TV, you see perfect scan lines, but in this brighter spot is what your the naked eye sees, and it's kind of a uh, interlace type of uh, scan going on. See right here, it's all in the light, so it's the scan lines aren't very pronounced. But let me see if I can move this. There, you see the dark spot coming through. And then there you see the scan lines coming on. So that shows you that it's not even near the uh, native resolution that it's supposed to be in. Um, I've dealt with this before. I had uh, uh, my PC connected to uh, this very TV, this PC down here. I kind of used as an emulator machine. And I've had it hooked up to this TV. And it does the same thing and that's at about 1024 by 768 resolution um, so that's probably what this thing's running at because um, I get the exact same type of uh, like interlaced type of shaky on the screen but uh, yeah this gives you a really good idea of the difference in the native resolution and the uh, the scan lines the dark is trying to emulate the the native resolution and then what you actually see is this right here so it's just one little thing um, I I'm kind of a, a nerd when it comes to that I like to see my scan lines pronounced I like the way they divide the pixels it's part of why I like playing games especially retro games on a CRT it makes it a lot more vibrant and just a an overall more nostalgic feel to it. I mean, like I said, I the video signal on it is really good. Not perfect, but I mean, it's good enough for me. I mean, I would have been totally happy with it, uh, even without, uh, you know, the scan lines being perfect. But right away, you can see the tearing on this. Pay attention to how the background will, like, the you'll see a line kind of separate the the top and bottom and kind of work its way down sometimes some people thought it was uh, 
only on the HDMI cable, but I got mine hooked up composite through the CRT, and it does it through that too, so. So in the end, what's my verdict? Do I like it? Should you buy one? What do I think about it? Well, let me start this off by saying I have been a huge Neo Geo fan ever since the first time I saw this, this the arcade system sitting next to a Street Fighter 2 in my local pizza parlor. Um, even as crappy as Fatal Fury was, it had a certain look to it that I liked. And the games that continued to come out years after it, I mean, I, I'm a huge fan. My expectations were very high for the system. I was hoping for a basically a pixel perfect uh, alternative to a real Neo Geo system. Did I get that? No. Um, it has issues. We got, of course, the screen tearing, um, the resolution preventing uh, exact, uh, you know, defined scan lines. Um, it's got minor issues. They're minor. The the main thing you want to think to yourself is, as a gamer. Is the gameplay experience the same? Now, those issues aside, the gameplay experience is exactly the same. So, I mean, from a standpoint of, I want to play a Neo Geo game. I want to play Metal Slug. I don't have the AES cartridge because it's very expensive. We're talking about $1,000 or more. Um, I have Metal Slug now. Sure, I could emulate it on my computer, and actually I have emulated on my computer, my PSP, my DS. Even on the phone that's recording this video, I have Neo Geo on it. My point is, this is designed for, in my opinion, a, a collector of Neo Geo and a person that's curious about Neo Geo that uh, is willing to spend the money on it. Um, the disadvantages of it do not outweigh the overall coolness of the, the system itself. The Neo Geo X is a great system. Um, as it stands, even if, I mean, this is a probably a terrible thing to say, but even if no more games come out on this, I'm still happy with it. But, what I think Tomo should really do is release games in batches. For instance, release, even though it's already on the system, release a card that has Metal Slug 1 through, you know, X on it or whatever. All the Metal Slugs that were on the AES MVS system. Release all the King of Fighters on one card. Release all the Samurai Showdowns on one card. Release them like that. And games that don't have multiple sequels, just do packs. Do like a uh, shoot 'em up pack. Do a uh, side scrolling adventure pack. Do whatever, you know. Uh, releasing games in multiple packs and being able to put them in a case, that way we could put it up on the shelf, is something that everybody would like. It would make collecting it way more enjoyable, more worth the money. I mean, simply having like, even as something like the size of like a. A DS case. I mean, here's one for instance. Just having a, a DS case, something like this, something small, have the SD card in there, some nice artwork, and have all the metal slugs on here. You open it up, got your, you'd have your SD card there, and instructions. I mean, you don't even, you, you could even do just a single piece of paper with a, a nice, you know, artwork. In the, along the same lines as the artwork of Metal Slug showing fire, jump, grenade, and then dir the direction. Something that was like on the arcade machine. Something as simple as a single piece of paper with decent artwork that feels like the real Neo Geo SNK setup. I mean, people would love that. So like, all the Metal Slugs, all the Samurai Showdowns, things like that. That's definitely the way to go. Nickel and diming people for $5, $10, SD cards is ridiculous. Uh, I don't think that would really go over very well with most of us. I mean, we know how many games are in the Neo Geo library. Granted, a lot of them are Japanese specific. Well, not a lot of them, but uh, some are. But, I mean, the Neo Geo library is roughly about 140 games. Nobody wants to have 140 SD cards laying around for all the Neo Geo games. But, uh, anyways, I kind of got sidetracked there. It's definitely worth the money, has minor flaws. But, definitely worth the money, tons of fun, I enjoy it. I'm going to put my Neo Geo system back in its box, and probably from now on I'm only going to use my Neo Geo X. So, 
that explains how things are going to be uh, here. But uh, sorry the video took so long to come out. Um, I didn't en end up getting it on the uh, UPS trackings timeline of the 21st. I ended up getting it on the 22nd, which is cool. I mean, I don't care. By that time, I'd made up my mind that I was going to, you know, agree with my girlfriend and just save it for Christmas Day, which today is Christmas Day, roughly about 2 o'clock. Um, I've been able to play this for probably the last four hours, and um, it's, it's, it's a good buy. I mean, for the money, it's a good buy what you get. Um, I had lots of fun this morning, so if you're looking for a Neo Geo, you can't go wrong with this. This system has lots of potential. Um, being able to unlock it and do more what we want with it, possibly even be able to run like other emulators like Nintendo, Sega, things like that. Being able to play Neo Geo Pocket games along with the original Neo Geo games on a Neo Geo handheld held would be really cool. But uh, I think uh, we haven't heard the, the last of this system. Um, I think that uh, from what I saw, this thing's been sold out all over the place. So Tomo's definitely making some money off of it. So I think that this initial run is going to make it worth their while to continue to do things for it. What they do with it is, you know, up in the air. But uh, it's a good buy. I think it's got a good future. And uh, seeing how the hacking goes, it may have a, uh, a lot more potential in there and bring more buyers to the scene. Uh, if you can hack it wide open, which it uh, seems like it's well on its way to. So anyways, that's my review. It's a good system.